Hello, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a new video, a new Jetpack Compose video in which we'll be creating three different types of lazy lists in Jetpack Compose. The first one is the lazy row, lazy common and lazy grid. So let's see the three of them. This is the lazy row like this. So it's a row of items that uh, load in a lazy way. And then the second one is the lazy common. So like this, they, this is a common of lazy items again that load when we scroll and the last one is lazy grid so we, as you can see here we have a grid of course you can have as many uh, items as you want in one row like three or four and uh, you can also create a lazy vertical i mean horizontal one because this one is a vertical one but you can also of course create a, a horizontal one so before we get started, I actually named my Instagram page and my YouTube channel to Under With Devs Academy because I believe this name is more focused and is about Under With Development and the Under With Ecosystem. So uh, you can check my Instagram page, you can follow me where I, uh, I share some really helpful tips, Under With Tips and, and new updates. So first of all, let's see what we need for this app. Uh, we need this library which is the Compose Navigation one to navigate because we have different screens to navigate between and then we need three images and of course you'll find the link to this project in the description on github and you can get this ima these images if you want or you can just use other images uh, basically these images we have three different images in here and so I say let's get started on creating our home screen so in our main activity let's create some space like this and now let's create our home screen which is a composable fun home screen like this our home screen will only take a navigate uh, a nav host controller so to navigate to the other screen so nav host controller this one and of course we have a column that includes that includes three buttons that has three buttons inside it so let's create the column we will need a modifier in this column to fill the max size so fill max size and then just center the content in the center of it so horizontal alignment center horizontally and vertical alignment center uh, like this and then let's create our first button button uh, I will write the on click uh, it will be the last thing to write but inside our button we just have a text a normal text that says lazy lazy roll for the first one in my button and the on click I will navigate so nav host controller dot navigate to lazy row screen this is the route and I'm going to create these after I just finish creating the buttons. Uh, so this is the first button. Let's of course create some spacer here to have a little bit of space, height. Let's say 30.dp. Import dp. And just copy this and paste it basically three times. Like this. So for the second button, we'll navigate to the common and this also will say common and then in the last button we navigate to the grid one grid as well here so grid and now in our surface in our own create function i'm going to create an instance of that nav controller so the host controller is remember nav host controller and then we create our nav host so nav host like this and uh, of course this one is nav host controller we don't want a graph but instead we want start destination in our case it's going to be home screen and let's create our composables or the screens that we want to navigate to let's format this Inside here, the first one uh, composable, the route is going to be a home screen, of course. 
and uh, it is our home screen that we've created let's pass this one and let's just copy this four, four times like this and the second one is going to be the lazy row screen so lazy row screen right here as well lazy row sc screen and here lazy Kalman screen the last one is the lazy grid screen so lazy grid screen lazy grid screen so uh, now let's create first our item that we want because uh, because uh, these items here are a bunch of items inside the list of course just like recycler view from xml so let's create our data class a new kotlin data class and call it item our item is going to take a title and the image ID, which is a draw res, so var image int is of type int. So this is for our item, and then the list that will display in our lazy list. I'm just going to paste it. Here it is. There is no point of writing this, but it's inside a component object to actually access it from the other screens, and it's just a bunch of items that. Uh, have different images and different names and now let's create our first one which is the lazy row screen so let's create a new file for that lazy row nope not this let's just name this fun and it is a composable we can of course preview what we are doing so preview and show background is set that to true and do this so we could see but actually we can't see the preview because we have so let's just not even see the preview because we have those errors there and this is a function it needs these like this and inside here we'll create a lazy row we don't want content instead we we'll just need a modifier to fill the max size and then we want content padding so content padding padding values 16 dp so this is like the the padding between all the items is going to be uh, not between all the items but from the edges we could say uh, 16 dp let's create space here and now we need this function which is items in index this one will pass our list so main activity those items and this function will give us now the index and the items so the index and the its item uh, now i'm not going to create the item here but let's just create a, a different function for that so composable fun i'm going to call it row item and it will take the item so item item like this to how our item is going to look like so it's just a column that has an image and uh, a text very simple so let's create that column and that will need a modifier a uh, modifier to give it of course a height so modify i mean the size height and width so height for this is going to be 350 dp and the width is going to be 200 dot dp and then horizontal alignment to make things centered horizontally or the content centered horizontally and then uh, of course let's create the image inside here image and the painter is going to be painter resource and it is item dot image let's format this the content description is going to be item dot title and then and the content 
scale is going to be crop you could say in xml it was center crop this is the equivalent to that this will need a modifier modifier dot fill max width to fill uh, all the width which is 300 uh, 350 dp and then the height is going to be smaller than that to have some space for the title so height is going to be what we have there but let's so 300 dp because that one was 350. now down here i'm just going to create a little spacer between the, uh, the title and the image height is going to be 8.dp and then the text so text the text is going to be item.text and the font font weight font weight is going to be semi bold like this so this is it actually for our row uh, our lazy row now let's just remove this import i'm just going to copy this file for the other ones because basically they are almost the same with but first i need to call i need to call this one inside here row item i didn't call it and then pass in item let's create a space between all the items so basically this content padding is the space you could say it's open that padding from here but between the items we need to create that so the first one spacer width is going to be 8.dp and the same after that so like this as i said i'm just going to copy this one for the other ones because they are the same with little differences so let's copy this one and then create our now column column screen and let's copy its name from there so this is the name and then we'll replace this with a lazy column this one and uh, basically we just need to rename this instead of column i mean row we'll name it now column and call it from here so that we don't need space right here but actually here we won't have we will have height to have let's go to see that uh, the space right here so uh, from the bottom of each item we'll have some space and actually this the other things are going to be the same except for for the size so here our height is going to be 250 and uh, we will fill the max width for this one we'll fill the max width and right here now again we'll fill the max width but this the height is going to be 200 dp so yes this is it actually for the lazy column and the last one is just again copy this one and paste it this one is going to be the lazy grid so let's just copy its name from here actually i don't have to pass anything to these functions i mean to these screens yes and then in our lazy grid let's rename that and here as well name it grid and yes call this one here so let's create it now we don't want a lazy column but instead a lazy vertical grid this one and uh, we need to specify how many columns we want to have so columns so there are two types of columns i'm going to we're going to see both of them so let's start with the fixed one fixed let's say two two like this and we can't have padding values 16 dp that we can only have the vertical uh, padding like this for a vertical grid and then for a horizontal grid we can only have horizontal if we have both of them it will work but it won't look like a lazy grid it will just look like a common so here we need to import this function and yes now in our item we're going to change the size so the same height but for the width 
will ha will have 200.dp and in here we won't fill the max width but actually we will have a size now of 200.dp like this and then one thing i forgot is to clip these rounded corners uh, let's say 13.dp to have rounded corners i'm not sure if i did it for the other ones i may have not done it yes i didn't so clip rounded corners 30.dp and here as well clip dp so yes i think this is it let's just run the app and see if everything runs all fine now here is the app let's check those here is our lazy roll it's working just fine as expected let's check our lazy comment now as well our lazy comment is just fine now the lazy grid it's working fine as i said we have two types of uh, we can specify two types of uh, we don't need this space here but anyway we can sp specify two types of comments so we have the fixed one that gives us a fixed number so let's for example say three and let's check our app here we have three items and to have space between them i just need to come to uh, my common and down here i'm going to say padding vertical i mean horizontal actually not vertical so horizontal 8.dp because i already have the vertical padding here so let's check that as you can see uh, so we can specify as many items as we want but we have the other one which is the adaptive one so we, actually we have three we have also fixed size but let's start now with the adaptive one so this one actually adapts to the size of the screen and then we can specify a main size so for example 160 dp so this is the main the minimum that it, the size can be so as you can see like this and the biggest this size becomes the less items we can have now only one item but if i say for example 16 I can have a, a lot more but this depends on the size of the device or the screen so the last one is the fixed size fixed size which of course have you can you can only have one fixed size so if i say uh, 29.dp something like this and i run the app i think it didn't run not sure what's going on but let's rerun it as you can see the size is fixed but i don't think this one is really good i rather have the uh, adaptive one looks really fine so i could specify the main size I could specify the main size like 118.dp and this just adapts to the screen size and if you want to have fixed one you can just you can just use fixed like this and then have let's say two items like this so yes this is it actually for this video we just learned how we can create lazy grid and uh, lazy common and lazy row in jetpack compose so this is it for this video thanks for watching leave a like if you find this helpful you subscribe and leave a comment if you have any question so see you in another video and bye